Hi! I am making a quick video today about metformin and premature ovarian failure. Uh, metformin is technically generally used for um, diabetes and uh, polycystic ovary disease, but there have been a couple of isolated incidents in Europe that I've read about where uh, women were prescribed metformin for premature ovarian failure and had a successful pregnancy thereafter. So, uh, short, long, to make a long story short, IFPOF, premature ovarian failure, uh, diagnosed uh, quite a while ago, um, so, quite a while, <laughs> over five years ago, and uh, I talked to my doctor into giving me metformin, um, which was, yeah, I was really, really happy. <laughs> um, I've been on a quarter of a dose of a quarter of a 500 milligram dose for a week. I just upped it to a third yesterday. Um, so for my side effects have been dry eye, a little bit of stomach ache, uh, dry skin, uh, increased thirst. Um, that basically went away after I'd say midweek. So after about four or five days, uh, my side effects went away. When I upped it yesterday, I had a little bit of the dry eye come back and a little bit of the uh, stomach ache come back just for a short period. Nothing horrendous, nothing notable. Uh, not great, you know, not a good time to have really dry eyes. Uh, the first couple of days, honestly, it really was hard to blink sometimes they were so dry, but I just kept a lot of, uh, drank a ton of water and kept eye drops on me. Okay, so onto the good stuff. What has it done so far? It's only been a week. So I'm, I'm logical here. I know that it's not going to have that much of an effect in the first week, but I will say this, the first dose that I had, um, I noticed, uh, a significant dif difference in my asthma. And I have read that, uh, metformin can actually, uh, help with inflammation. It can be anti-inflammatory. Um, basically when I was diagnosed with premature ovarian failure, uh, within a short period of time, um, I had asthma um, come back. I hadn't had it since I was a kid, in third, fourth, fifth grade. I think it stopped after about fifth grade. Suddenly I'm, you know, 29 and I've got asthma again, which is a really strange development. Uh, another good time with uh, premature ovarian failure, all this weird stuff. Uh, but anyway, so I took the pill. Uh, about an hour later, the strangest sensation. Uh, my mouth had already started to get a little bit dry and stuff. But I also felt the back of my throat, it felt like it lifted up. It was, um, it was really strange. It was a really strange sensation. But then it was kind of like my eyes opened up and I could breathe. I felt like I was alive. <laughs> I felt like I was reborn. Uh, I'm probably being melodramatic, but that's how I felt. It was pretty significant for me. And uh, uh, the other effects are, um, could be psychological, I don't know, could just be in my head. But I've also noticed um, I've just had more energy. I've just felt uh, um, a little more zest for life. So anyway, you be the judge. I don't know. It could be in my head. Maybe not. But um, so uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm probably not going to make another video until something significant happens or a month. Like if nothing's happened in a month, I'll, I'll give you guys another update, but I'm going to continue, um, increasing the dose, uh, is at a pretty slow pace because I do not like side effects. Um, and I'll keep you updated. Yeah. See you guys. Baby dust.